Disney Pixar Toy Story 2. Woody is getting ready to go to cowboy camp with Andy. Hey, howdy, hey. Soon, Andy comes into his room to play with Woody and Buzz. It's time for the best friend's Wild West Super Secret Space Ranger handshake. When Andy makes Woody and Buzz shake hands, Woody's arm rips. Oh no, says Andy Mom. Maybe we can fix him. No, just leave him, says Andy. Then Andy's mom places Woody on the shelf. Woody sadly watches Andy leave, but he is not alone. Wheezy the Penguin Squeak Toy is on the shelf, too. Hey, howdy, hey! We're all just one stitch away from there, says Wheezy. He points out the window and Woody sees Andy's mom setting up a yard sale. Moments later, Andy's mom comes into Andy's bedroom looking for items to sell. She grabs Wheezy. Goodbye, Woody whispers Wheezy as Andy's mom carries the poor toy outside. Yard sale alert, shouts Woody. Hey, howdy, hey! I'm saving Wheezy. Woody whistles for Buster, the puppy, and jumps <coughs> on his back. Yeehaw! Woody and Buster dash into the yard. With his good arm, Woody grabs Wheezy and pulls him on the buster. They race back toward the house. Just then, Woody's arm rips. Some more, and he tumbles down to the ground. As Buzz watches from the window, he sees a man pick up Woody. Buzz does not know that it is Owl from Owl's Toy Barn. <coughs> Owl tries to buy Woody, but Andy's mom says he's not for sale. Then, when Andy's mom turns around, Owl grabs Woody and runs to his car. I'll save you, Woody, shouts Buzz. Let's move out, Trumps. He jumps. Out the window, slides down the drain pipe, and races towards the car. But he is too late. The car speeds away. <laughs> Buzz looks up just in time to see the car's license plate and a single chicken feather floating in the air. <laughs> At Al's apartment, Al tells Woody, you're going to make me big bucks. Then he leaves the locking the door behind him. As Woody tries to escape, a toy horse named Bullseye pops out of a box and scoops up Woody. Bullseye runs around the room with Woody. Hey, howdy, hey! Seconds later, a cowgirl named Jessie crawls out of a box and greets Woody. Turn me around, shouts a voice from a nearby box. Bullseye pushes the box around until Woody sees the wise old prospector. <laughs> You're the answer to our prayers, Woody, says the prospector. Woody wonders how they know his name. The prospector <laughs> tells Bullseye to turn on the TV. Woody learns that he was once a big TV star. Now you're part of a, our collectible set, explains the old prospector. <laughs> Al is selling us to a museum in Japan. But I want to go home to Andy, says Woody. You can't go, Woody, cries Jesse. <laughs> if you go, we'll be put in storage forever. Thank <laughs> you.
back in Andy's room, Buzz. And the rest of the toys try to figure out the letters from the license plate. L Z T Y B R N. It must mean something, says Buzz. Let's move out, troops. Buzz uses Mr. Spell and realizes what the letters mean. T Y means toy. That's it, shouts Buzz as he waves the chicken feather. It was Al from Al's toy barn. <laughs> Woody stole. Who stole Woody? Buzz is determined to save Woody. I'm coming with you, says Slinky. He's our friend too, shouts Rex, Ham, and Mr. Potato Head. The five friends climb out of the bedroom window and creep across the roof. One by one, the toy uses Slinky's coils to jump down to the ground. Buzz looks back at the other toys and proudly shouts to Owl's Toy Barn and Beyond. Al comes home and takes a picture of Woody. As he takes Woody off the display stand, Al rips Woody's arm off all the way. Oh no, cries Al. I'll have to call the toy cleaner to come fix this. He makes an appointment for the next morning and sticks Woody's arm in his shirt pocket. Woody waits until Al falls asleep. This is his chance to escape. He tiptoes to Al's pocket. Woody reaches for his arm, but the TV suddenly turns on and wakes up Al. Woody freezes. Al puts Woody back in the display case. Now, son, says the prospector, you can't go back to Andy with one arm. Stay here until the cleaner fixes you up. The next morning, after the cleaner fixes Woody's arm, Woody is ready to say goodbye. But Bullseye and Jesse are sad. Jesse tells Woody about the home she had once. I was the favorite toy in the room, says Jesse. But one day, the girl who owned me grew up, and I ended up in a box. Even the greatest kids outgrow their toys. Maybe you're right, says Woody. I guess I'll stay. Buzz and the other toys finally make it to the toy store. When they get inside, the friends split up to look for Woody. Buzz sees a green light glowing in a nearby aisle and heads that way. Buzz turns the corner and sees an amazing sight, an awesome Buzz Lightyear display. Suddenly, a hand grabs Buzz by the arm. It's another Buzz Lightyear. Space Rangers must stay in hypersleep until awakened by authorized personnel, says this new Buzz. You're not a space ranger, says Buzz. You're just a toy. New Buzz tackles Buzz and sticks him in a box. Let's move out, troops. Just then, other toys drive up in a toy car. New Buzz jumps in, and they drive to Al's office. Let's move out, troops. The, the toys hop into Al's briefcase as he walks out of the store. Buzz see, sees Al and frees him from the box. He races after Al but crashes into the doors as they close. Buzz knocks down a pile of toys to open the door. Then he runs outside. He does not see the evil Zerg. Buzz Lightyear's greatest enemy following him. At Owl's apartment building, Andy and other toys find the elevator shaft and reach Owl's floor. Using Rex as a battering ram, the toys smash into Owl's apartment. 
We're here, Woody says, new buzz the bullseye. The toys stare at new buzz. <laughs> Moments later, a real buzz hurries in and proves he is the real buzz. He shows them that Andy's name is written on his foot. Now let's go, says Buzz the Woody. I can't, says Woody. My new friends and I are rare collectibles. If I go, they'll end up in storage. You're a toy, shouts Buzz. Woody does not listen. He turns to sit down in front of the television. While the other toys sadly leave. Then Woody sees a boy who looks like Andy on TV. Suddenly, Woody realizes how much he misses Andy. He runs after Buzz. Come on, says Woody to Jesse. And Bullseye. They head for the vent, but Prospector stops them before they can reach it. You're not going anywhere, says the Prospector. Al returns to the apartment and packs up Woody, Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector. He heads for the elevator, and these toys and new buzz race toward the elevator shaft, suddenly then see Zerg. Oh no, gasps Rex. The toys know they must stop Zerg. I can't watch, says Rex. He turns away and knocks Zerg with his tail. Zerg falls down the elevator shaft. The toys look down into the elevator and see Al with the, the case of toys. Quickly, the toys form a long chain with Slinky at the end. Slinky reaches for the case. He is about to save Woody when the elevator stops and Al walks out. Slinky... Loses his balance, and the toys crash down to the floor. Buzz and the other toys hop into a Pizza Planet delivery truck and follow Al. He leads them to the airport. Buzz spies a pet carrier, and the toys jump inside. The pet carrier follows Al into... Al's case into the baggage area. Split up and start looking, Buzz says to the toys. Let's move out, trucks. Buzz leaps from one suitcase to the next, looking for his best friend, Woody. Hey, howdy, hey. Buzz opens a green case. The prospector jumps out and struggles with Buzz. Then Woody escapes and helps Buzz stuff the prospector into a passing backpack. Bullseye escapes too, but Jesse still needs their help. When Bullseye gallops up, Woody jumps onto the horse's back and pulls Buzz up behind him. They race after the baggage train. Woody leaps into the train and searches for the case holding Jesse. Woody is too late. Jesse's case is loaded onto the airplane. Woody hops into a golf bag and follows Jesse's case onto the plane. Once inside, Woody opens Jesse's case. I believe you're on the wrong flight, ma'am, says Woody. Woody leads Jesse to an escape hatch just over the plane's wheels. The wheels are moving. As the toys climb down towards the wheels, Jesse slips. Woody reaches out to grab her, and his arm rips again. At that moment, Bullseye and Buzz gallop up to the wheels of the plane. Jump, shouts Woody. Holding Jesse tightly, Woody jumps onto Bullseye. The toys make it back to Andy's room just in time. Andy runs up the stairs to find Woody. Buzz 
and the other toys along with Jesse and Bullseye. Wow, new toys, shouts Andy as he picks them up to play with them. Thanks, Mom. Jesse and Bullseye are happy. They know that Andy will not keep them on a shelf. He will love them.